So this is the little setup that we're going to be using. Guys, what I did is I just took a CPU cooler and just set it on top of the CPU and then laid a 140 millimeter fan up against it, as you all can see there. All right, so this motherboard right here, the 32-bit monster motherboard, you see how it's real goofy, how the CPU sits in sideways, and it's just like the PCI is over here, and then like the I.O. and stuff's in the back, and this motherboard's a nightmare to work with, but I may end up working with that if I don't want to get another I.O. to put on this other one, which I think I may have to do, but I, I, that's a different story. So what I did is I bought another one. Okay, I bought another motherboard, and this one is more normal factor, and it allow me to run four channels, or I'm sorry, four, four RAM, four sticks of RAM that I wanted to, to probably put me up to eight. I think that's the most I can run with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get another CPU. This is an E8600 that we're using with right now, and it's not, um, you know, it's not up to par to the 90s or the 9650 or whatever it was anyway these are the two hard drives that we're going to use we're going to try to see if this one will allow me to go this is an OEM on Windows XP so I seriously doubt that it will work with this motherboard and the chip maybe if I put the other chip in I might be able to get it to kick over but usually once you do the Windows setup with an OEM key it locks in the CPU and the motherboard and all that shit and you can't change it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to a SATA drive uh, or an SSD and see if we have any better luck um, but yeah that's what we're going to do today guys we're going to try to get this setup going um, basically I just wanted to make sure that my new power supply works and my new motherboard works and all the features of the motherboard works and the new CPU that we got works and with that I'll be happy so I just thought I would play around with it and you know provide another video for you guys and that's what we're going to do uh, yeah I made a video about a year ago about this power supply right here guys this warrior power supply it's a fully modular uh, power supply and it's a beast I mean I love it I've bought three or four of these things man and they're about 35 bucks Let's see here. See, look here. I got one here. See, that's what I'm saying. I've if I've bought at least two two of them this year, and I bought three or four of them last year. I put them in build. Like when people want me to build their computers for them, and they needed a they like the blue light, and they want it to be a modular power supply, and I didn't want to spend you know eighty to a hundred dollars on one. I found this one right here, and I think it's eighty plus bronze too. Don't hold me to it. But it does have some good specs and everything. Uh, let's see here. Out of the 10 total that I've probably bought, only one of them was a dud. I sent it back and the manufacturer sent me a new one right back immediately. So with that said, and then this right here I bought off of eBay from some seller for 10 bucks, And I got more RAM coming. That's a whole other story. But alright, just wanted to talk to you all about that real quick. Great product. Uh, I find it on, what do you call it? Amazon? Yeah, I found it on Amazon. It's it's really good, man. It's like I said, you know, and I did a video on this about a year ago. I don't know if it was very good or not, but I tried. But yeah, all right, guys, let's uh let's try it. Let's see if this works. <clears throat> so I wanted to see if this new motherboard that we got in the mail is going to work because the other motherboard that came with the uh for the 32-bit monster project it it's just it's a goofy board and i just don't think it's going to work so what i did is i bought another motherboard but this one is set up a little bit better because it has it has a normal feature going on with it which is one of the things that i like so basically what i wanted to do is just see if um if everything still works with this stuff it's it's a new board and I got a new power supply and then we have a new CPU right here this is the new uh, E8600 dual core 8600 
And we got that. Got us a new stick of ramp. Uh, let's see here. Guess it would go this way. Like that. The good news is, is if I'm put, if I put it in the wrong channel or installed it wrong, it will tell me. Okay, so I need to put the new CPU in. Take that out. Tear. All right. Shut the door. Close the gate. All right. 24 pin. <clears throat> the other one. Yeah, it was that one. That was the corporate. Okay, got it like that. Uh, we're going to need one of these for the hard drive. Duh. Got to have this for the hard drive. Let's see here. This is a SATA peripherals. So it's going to go right here. Okay. And then this can go in there. How about if I take this, set it on top, well, make sure it don't touch nothing. Okay. Just put it on top of the CPU temporarily, and then I got a fan header there, so if I can, let's see here, I got a fan right here, we'll use this one, like that. careful because it might turn on, alright. Not sure which way it'll blow, but I think it'll blow against it. All right, so I think everything is good. That's plugged in. Let's see if this is on or not. Uh, I think that's on. Like unlicensed copy. I may. I may actually have to get a copy of. Uh, Windows XP. I just may. Beep! Oh, do you want to beep at me, eh? Go that way. It's a little darker. It looks a little cooler that way. How you guys like the uh, above from the top look? Looks cool. Can y'all see it? It's. No, maybe I should go lower with it. There we go. Alright, so I'm trying to let it. I want to get in the BIOS, but I don't remember what to do to get in the BIOS. Nor do I th Oh, my mouse is working! Yeah, the mouse is working now. Alright, cool. Okay, it says, this, this copy of Windows must be activated with a Microsoft before you can log on. Do you want to activate the Windows now? No. Okay, so it just says welcome. Let's go to new. No. Yes. Let's see what it says if I say yes. Let's activate Windows. Do you want to activate Windows? Yes, I want to telephone a customer service representative to activate Windows. Let's see here. Uh, let's activate Windows over the internet. No. How about next? I said no to it. So, let's see. Alright, well, let's just see what happens if I say yes to it all. Register with Microsoft? No, I don't want to register with them. Oh shit, I don't have internet hooked up to it. <laughs> Crud! <clears throat> Forgot all about that part. I don't know. turn off the computer. No, let's restart it. Yeah, let's restart it. Because if I restart it, I'll be able to, uh, 
Hopefully it'll recognize that internet cable. Oh, F2, set up. Get me into the setup. Yay, BIOS. Can you all see the BIOS? All right, system information. Power management. Uh, advanced. Boot device configuration. Yeah. Okay, let's see your hard drive disk boot priority. Well, we only got one on there right now, so no. No, we need to go back. Uh, no. See what happens. Okay, blowing air, keeping the CPU cool. Oh shit, it says that there's no drive, no boot device available. <clears throat> it says that there is on one, but it's telling me that there isn't. Dang. So, I already know what I'm going to have to do. I was afraid of this. I was wondering if I was going to... Because I knew that if I changed motherboards, that this would probably happen. And it has happened. So, I'm going to have to try to find Windows XP and maybe load it onto that, dri load it onto that disk, onto that SATA. On, I'm sorry, onto that SSD. And then stick it on this motherboard and see if it will work then. But... Oh well, I'm glad to know that my new power supply works, and that my new motherboard works, and that I wasn't, I'm not able to try out the PCI slot right now, but I know that the RAM works, and at least one of the SATA ports, and that it recognizes the chip, and plus the chip works too, you know, because I bought the chip from a separate buyer, you know, so I'm glad to see the, that it that it's it's functioning, so... Oh well, so that's it. I'm I'm done for the night. It's time to go to bed. I gotta go to work in the morning, so no, it won't let me do nothing. So anyway, until next time guys. Peace.